Okay, so the purpose of our video today is to show you how to make a spray guard to suit your TIG Integrity heavy duty mount. So this is a nice one I've just created here out of stainless steel. Nice and polished, no gaps, and looks real sweet. The TIG Integrity range of transducer mounts will allow you for easy height adjustment. So instead of drilling holes all over your transom, trying to find where the sweet spot is, you can drill once with the jack plate, then you just bolt the heavy duty mount to the jack plate, which has sliding bolts, and you can slide that up and down to set your height and all it requires is a 716 spanner angle wise it's just a matter of hinge bolts here to set your angle so once you've got your your reading correct you might find that you need a spray guard because it's sitting deeper than usual on some boats you won't need a spray guard and the transducer will be set perfectly skimming on the water but other scenarios you're going to require this to get deeper in the water water to get in the cleaner water as a result it's going to spray up and you don't want that spray going all over the motor so you need a spray guard you can get these little brackets here that bolt to the arm and they will support a plate see so supporting a plate there now let's show you how to make let's show you how to make it at home there so get yourself some card all you need is some scissors ruler i like to use a right angle square for accuracy and a pen yeah, so get yourself some card, not cardboard. It's hard to use. Get card, it's st stuff that's a little bit heavier than paper. What we want to do is sit that on top of the where the where the spray guard's going to go on top of there. And what we're trying to try and do is get that to go back to the transom, covering all the gaps. And this is how we're going to do it. Firstly, we've got to work out what it is that's stopping it from going back. Well, in this case now, we've got these two little arms sticking out here. So let's start off by removing the material in the card to get the card to go back further. So we've marked the arms. Now in this case, I'm going to measure from the furthest point back to the closest point to me, which I can see is 75 millimeters from the way back here, not here, the furthest point, which is which is tucked behind here. See back around here, around this corner. So I can go measure back from the back of there to 75 millimeters, and I know I've got to cut those arms out to 75 millimeters. Remember this is a template so that you can make a guard up out of the, uh, the material that you want to use whether it's plastic, aluminium or stainless steel. So remove, remove that material there and find out what's stopping it from going back further. So I'm going to measure now from this face here to the next point I need to cut which is 35 millimeters. So I'm going to start from here and measure back 35 millimeters. I've done this before quite a few times so I know I know what to do and you will probably be confused on the first time you do this if you're not used to doing the measurements such as these but you'll pick it up pretty quick just have a few pieces of card in case you make a mistake and you will you'll work it out oh I've got to you'll realize that oh, I've got to try and make this bit of card keep going back and you'll make a few mistakes but it's not going to take that long okay so from so I've got I've got that shape there now what's stopping it well obviously this the jack plate is stopping it I'm going to measure back the jack plate is 10 millimeters thick and 80 millimeters wide. Okay, so now I've cut, uh, marked out for the jack plate. Okay, jack plate's marked out. Now, what's stopping it from going back? This plate here. We can't, we can't get that all the way back because this plate is stopping here. So we're going to have to bring this forward. So we measure. One way of doing it is to measure from the, the furthest point here to this point here, which is 45 millimeters. So I'm going to measure 45 millimeters now to there, which I have. So if I cut through that line there, line here, I know I'm going to touch. The, okay, what's stop? Let's find out what's stopping it. Well, there's a little, little bit of plate over this side is stopping it, so we'll just cut that little bit out there. This video is not going to be that that clear, but once you start doing it, you'll get the idea. Okay, so now we move it all in, fine tune it a little bit for the cable stopping it. So we've just cut a little notch out for the cable. There we go, that's it, done. Now from there, that's our template. Fine tune it if you need to. That's pretty good. There's not, there's not, any, there's not many gaps there, I mean, a tiny little gap here, not much at all. Now what's most important is the motor side for spray. You don't want the spray going all over the motor because then the, the salt spray can get sucked into the outboard and we don't want all that. So, and but out, this side doesn't matter. So I'd like to have about maybe 100 millimeters sticking out over this side of the guard and a little tiny bit over that side of the guard. We don't need much hanging over that side. You don't have to make it symmetrical, but the main, most important thing is that this, this guard under no circumstances should be in the fast water here because that could, that, 
the amount of water on there, that water pressure on there can rip the guard off. So you don't want to have this guard for any reason hanging under the whole line. This side here can be folded down and there's plenty of room. We don't necessarily have to fold this side down. You're making it custom to your situation. So now we've got our template correctly. We want to sort of dress it up a little bit, make it look a bit, bit smarter. So we can cut the corners off. Obviously you want to do that with your ruler, make it accurate. But that's pretty much what we got. We can make that a bit longer. You see here, I've made that one about 200 millimeters long. This is just an example, so this is only short. So once you've got your template worked out, we want to transfer this over to a piece of st steel that you're using, whether it's aluminium or plastic or stainless steel. And you can get that done locally, a local fabricator, and just give them, give them the template and say, cut exactly that shape. Or you can do it yourself, or you might have a mate that can do it. You might have the tools, you can do it yourself. And you just transfer that information there onto the steel. Because you don't want to be doing, you don't want to be doing the template out of the steel, it's just too hard and it takes it's quicker to cut with the scissors and we just folded these sides down a little bit to give it a bit of a make it look a bit special straight on don't forget you've also got to mark your holes the center of these slots here so from the back plate there we're looking at 45 millimeters so from the back plate we've got 45 millimeters the center of the slots is 62 millimeters so it's 31 millimeters from the center Mark your center too of this of this template and you, can, you always know where the center is. So have a line. Before you start, just draw a line through the middle. Accurately, of course. I'm just doing this quickly. And then we know that that's where our holes are going to go. And just make sure there's two holes drilled in there and they'll fit in your slots there. And there we go. That just simply bolts on there. Two bolts. Beautiful, looks sweet, covering all the gaps. You've got your transducer deep in the water, deeper in the water than usual, getting a good read all the time, not just under perfect conditions. And you're stopping all the spray. See, all gaps are covered. Yeah, so there you go, if you want any more information on the um, spray guard how to make that or on the on the mount itself just get in touch T T I G integrity tigintegrity.com.au email us at tigintegrity at bigpond.com there's plenty of information on how to get in contact with us thanks for watching